A few spectacular eclipse events are happening in the next six months, and while San Diego isn't in the direct path, scientists say it will be worth taking a look. In this Innovate 8, Abby Black shares how a group of sixth graders are getting ready for the sky shows. The total eclipse is not happening until next April, but local sixth graders are aboard Holland America to get a glimpse of what it could look like. Sixth graders from Perkins Elementary School in Barrio Logan board America Holland's Volan Dam. This is their first time on a cruise ship and they get to learn about the eclipse. And the moon blocks the sun. While the students won't be on the ship when it sets sail to be in the path of totality for the total eclipse in April, they learn it will still be worth taking a look, especially when San Diegans can view the annual eclipse, which will be a partial eclipse, on October 14th, starting at 8.09 a.m. Here in San Diego, even though we're not on that little strip of land, we can still see the sun partially blocked, in fact, 75% blocked by the moon, and that's already going to be an impressive event. Before the students go to the deck, you see San Diego Diego professor of astronomy and astrophysics, Dr. Adam Burgasser teaches the students how to safely view the sun. Because you don't want to ever stare at an eclipse. The kids are given solar eclipse glasses. They are really dark. And all the materials needed to build a pinhole projector. What we're going to do is we're going to be looking through one hole and the sun's going to come through the other hole. Diego Alvarado is fascinated with space. Mostly like the planets. Oh, and also I like to learn about like Saturn. Now they're ready to hit the deck. That's all. The students test out their pinhole projector. Oh, I can see it. It's like white. It's like a white dot. Diego helps his classmates. Hey. You need to look down. You need to look okay. down. He reminds them to get a better view, they need to turn their back to the sun. Can you see it? It's like a little sun. Yeah, it looks like a little sun. Burgasser says eclipses also give scientists an important opportunity to study the sun's atmosphere. When it happens naturally with the moon, we can study that coronal gas, which we call, very easily and get some interesting science from that particular very rare part of the sun. Do you see that little white dot there? That's it. That little ball of light may be small, but this experience is making a big impact on these students. It's almost like you put the sun in the box. You kind of own the sun for yourself. For Innovate 8, Abby Black, CBS 8.